Hello, hello, and welcome back to my garage, the lad build. All right, so today I've decided we are going to actually assemble the engine instead of the body parts. Uh, and so far with the body parts, we have a vote for black and a vote for chrome. So since it's tied, we'll probably be doing both. But comment down below colors uh, that you'd like to see this car. Keep it black. Do chrome. Uh, you know, I'm not sure if you take a black part over there and get it chromed, if it's still considered black or not. But if it is, uh, it'll be a black and chrome uh, mix, uh, mixed car. Anyway, let's go ahead and start with the engine. I went ahead and collected all the parts I had lying around in the shop and in the back garage over there i haven't taken inventory on them so i'm not sure exactly everything that we have offhand as you can see there are some duplicates here uh, but first things first is we are going to need a block so let's go ahead and look at the blocks real quick uh, it is the lad and we are doing a four banger because that's the most engine parts that i have and if we type in block yeah, and we only have 1600 bucks so okay let's see Okay, well, there is actually a really cheap block here for 287 compared to the 552 over there. So I think we'll end up actually getting this one just so we can make sure we have as much money as possible. Now, we are going to go over to the other shop and buy it, though. And I did find this. I forgot to sell it in the last video. Uh, so I'm not going to sell it right away. We're just going to set it to the side, and if we need it, we will sell it. Okay, but first, let's take inventory of what we have. So we're going to need to get the block. Uh, we got a crankshaft and the four pistons. We have the oil pan that's going on the bottom. We do have a head, and it looks like three good spark plugs and one semi not so good spark plugs but we do have spark plugs inside the shop there uh, let's see we're going to be adding a distributor uh, that already has the flywheel on it so we just need a bit used oh no yeah we will need that of course uh, there is the pressure plate okay and there is the what is this? Okay, this is just a flywheel. And here is the um, clutch plate itself. So, okay. Uh, is that a new one? Uh, used but still works. So that other one is a better one. There is a fuel pump. Looks brand new. What do we got here? It's an upper hose. Uh, looks like we have the headers, so that is good. We do have an air filter, uh, but we don't have the other pieces to the air filter. Okay, cool. So we have the exhaust and the intake. Uh, we got some fuel lines and what is that? Spark plug wires. There's the rad. Um, is this a lower hose over here? That's an upper hose. That's a turbo pipe. We'll probably not be turboing this just because I don't think I'll have the money. Yeah, so we'll need a lower hose. Uh, of course, we have that part, which is good. Um, this isn't really part of the engine, but it is in the engine bay. We're going to be doing the engine bay stuff as well. And the alternator. Okay. Okay. And we got a brand new belt. Oh, we'll just keep this back here. So we don't need that. That. Or these three pistons. We have all the pistons. Okay, they're all a bit used, but that's okay. Okay, so that is a pretty good amount of things, actually. Uh, fuel pump, all that. I don't remember if these have water pumps on them, but uh, we'll, we'll find out. I should probably use my handy dandy notepad here. Uh, let's see. So we need the block. No alternator. No distributor. No clutch pieces. No fuel pump. Okay. Okay. 
Yeah, uh, so we're going to need a head gasket, of course. And I think I should be able to remember all this. Should I? Yeah, I think I'll remember it all. We're going to take a look in the catalog real quick just to see exactly what it what all this engine has with it. And then uh, take a mental note. So we're going to need those uh, filter housings. Okay, so we are going to need a cam, a carb. We don't need the pulley. Oh, we will need the cover, though. The gas tank, of course. Head gas tank. Okay, the ignition coil. Lower hose, we need. Oil filter, we'll need. Starter. Timing chain, okay. Yep, the engine fan. Okay, there is a water pump, of course. Um, I didn't see no wires main. Okay, well, no, I could definitely remember all that. That's not too bad at all. Okay, coal beans. We're not going to buy those paintable parts, though. So. Okay, cool. Let's head over to uh, the shop over there. Let's pick up the parts that we need. And, uh, yeah, we'll be back over. Uh, yeah, no wires main. Okay, and I think I'm... Wait, did it? Okay, no, that's a fuel line. Uh, what time is it? It is almost 1500. We're going to go ahead and get slipped to the next day here. And yeah, let's head over to the shop and get everything that we're going to need. So I plan on doing, I didn't see any brake, brake parts or any of that. Uh, we'll take a double check in here when we're in here, but, but yeah, I want to do engine and engine bay components today. Yeah, these are all six cylinder parts uh, and nothing good. Okay, cool beans. Let's go ahead and jump in the good old car here and get over to the shop and get everything that we need. And see if we can back this out without uh, without hitting anything. All right. Oh, uh, son of a horse's ass. Uh, give me one momento, minuto. Okay, I had to uh, launch my... Logitech gaming software so I can get my full 900 900 degree rotation on my wheel Oh, and I think I found out why uh, my game was crashing so much and it's because uh, I forgot the basics of PC gaming which is number one rule make sure your freaking OS and Drivers are fully updated uh, Since I updated everything I haven't had any problems. Uh, so yeah, it was my fault. Nobody else's uh, but my own, so, anyway, uh, let's go ahead and get out of here. Okay, we're already cocked a little too hard. There we go. Oh, yeah, we got this. All right. Oh, and let's go ahead and just see if we can get her turned around a little bit more. I think that's about as best as we're going to do. And we'll just, oops, we'll just go ahead and leave out this back way here. All right, there we go. Like I need a blinker on. Ugh, okay. There we are. We still got our trailer. Indeed, we do. And we're just going to pull up to the side of it again. And there she blows. All right. Let's go ahead and get everything we need. Uh, I forget how much that engine cost at the house. I think it was like 258 So let's... Well, some engine components, bud. Oops, that's the wrong thing. Okay, let's see. Uh, we're going to the lad, the four-cylinder engine. And let's get the block first. If I could spell. 250. What did I say? 258. So we ain't saving a bunch on this thing, but it is still at a much better price. Uh, so we're going to go ahead and get this cheap engine block. Uh, it'll be fine. Like I said, we're just selling it. And actually, I won't mind seen how it drives I haven't used that small engine before okay so we got the block okay we got the air filter but we're gonna need the air filter housing the lid we got the belt the alternator we got a battery we do not have a cam or a carb we have both those clutch plates uh, we do have a crankshaft a crank pulley we got the head we don't have the cover we got a distributor um, I don't think I have an exhaust, um, 
We'll take a l no, we don't. That's a V6 or a Wolf exhaust. So we'll go ahead and grab that exhaust. We got the header, the manifold, the flywheel, the fuel line, the pump. We don't have a gas tank, however. Uh, we I think we have a gearbox. We don't have a head or an ignition coil or a lower hose. We don't have an oil filter. Uh, we do have those items there. We don't have a starter, a timing chain, an engine fan, a water pump, wires main. And I think that's actually it. So no performance parts on this one today. Nope. Oh yeah, that's not too bad. Okay, let's pull out our bag and get everything collected real quick here. I should have left the rest of that stuff at home. Uh, let's just go ahead and put these parts in the car real quick. Uh, the battery's not really a part, but we're going to drop uh, these two in here. And I lost the damn water pump already. Okay, there we go. And let's get the rest of this stuff now. Oh, we could actually put that freaking tank in my, uh, in my bag. Okay, we can't grab that. Oh, yeah, that's not a lot of items. All right, cool. Let's get all this loaded up. Should probably have that open. Yeah. Okay, and let's go ahead and drop everything and grab the rest of it. Uh, we will look behind the counter real quick. Oh, yep, yeah, we dropped some stuff back here. Okay, so let's pick these up. And that should be it. Oh, yeah, we can't pick that up. Okay. There we go. And all we got left, <clears throat> all we got left here is the block. Awesome. Hey, check it out. Oh, look. For some reason, when I buy it at this shop, it doesn't have that hole in it anymore. Interesting. Okay, let's close her down and let's get headed back to the house. So how much money? Okay, that wasn't too bad, actually. I probably could have got the bigger block. Uh, but you know what? I'm not done. Actually. I forgot. We still have a lot of things in the engine bay that we're going to need. So let's go ahead and grab those things real quick while we're still here. Okay. So what are we going to need? We got the brake line. Um, there is a hand cable in there. I don't know which car it's for, uh, but we are going to need four of these and a master cylinder. These are all interiors for the car, but let's see if any, nope, nothing there. Okay. Uh, let's check the accessory bin. These are all body parts. Um, I do have the wiper thing, so I might as well get the wiper and the blades while we're here. That goes into the engine bay. Oh, okay. So all we need is really the wipers. Okay. Let's go ahead and grab those real quick. Two wipers and two wiper blades which none of that costs too much and let's just make sure nothing else uh, we was already at brakes i don't think anything from the suspension is going to go inside of the engine bay no but we will need a differential okay so mm, 390 that is that will put us pretty close to broke so before we actually start finishing up the whole car uh, we will definitely need to do some regular jobs but let's get our diff oh thank god look there's one for 190 here it's super cheap 390 390 390 yeah 190 we are definitely buying this differential here so yes okay okay and that's going to be everything for inside of the engine bay all right let's get it all collected here uh, is that everything? Let's turn our flashlight on and look behind the counter here. Okay, yep, that is actually everything. Okay, let's get it all thrown in. I guess I could have just kept it in my hand, uh, but we're going to pick these up just so I don't lose them. Okay, there we go. Let's get back to the house and start putting everything on. The house, I always say the house. Uh, but what I actually mean to say is the garage. Okay, let's do this. Uh, yeah, I think we'll just back it up just like we did before. Let's 
stay out of the road. And we are a bit too far over. And we are hitting, <laughs> we are hitting the, uh, <clears throat> the building. Okay, and I think I got my brake on still. There we go. All right, let's get back. Oh, buddy, that's a tight one. All right, we're good. And we're just going to take our uh, back way in. And yeah, let's drop everything off over here. Hopefully nobody will be coming through. And of course they are. Alright, let's... Oh, thanks for not running into me, bud. Oops, and of course I freaking stalled it. Okay, let's do this. Oh yeah, this ain't working out so swell. <laughs> uh, let's see if we can do it. Okay, that, should, <laughs> that looks good. Okay. Uh, we're just going to have to sit here in the road. And people are just going to have to wait for us. Alright, let's collect everything. Uh, we'll get all the big stuff out first. So there's the block. Uh, the good old gas tank. Here's that big fat exhaust. And we should be able to pocket everything else. And there's our freaking tools again. All right, and just a more, few more items back here. Yep, there we go. And just that last one. All right, fantastic. Okay, uh, that should be fan that should be good. Yep, indeed. Let's go ahead and get her shut, and uh, we're gonna have to move it. Luckily, no traffic came through while we were here. Uh, though, we do have a guy right here trying to give me the business. Oh, come on. Don't hit me. Jesus. Fucking scared me. All right. There's that fish floating over there. All right. Let's get this back into the garage. I don't think we're going to need it anymore today, so we should be fine. There we go. And we are set. Fantastic. Uh, we'll go ahead and disconnect this instead of the game doing it. And yeah, this is for a Niv. Okay, yeah, that's that's what I thought. And that differential is for a Wolf. All right, let's get her closed and let's get started. Uh, I forgot to put those back in there. All right, so first things first is we are going to attach this block to uh, the thing there. Uh, second thing is grabbing our wrench and tightening it down. There we are. Uh, so let's go ahead and add on our uh, crankshaft along with our piston assembly. We're going to rotate this around though. That's fine. Beautiful. Get her tight. Oh, look, the hole's back. <laughs> Is it? Yeah, it's okay. Uh, it's a modded. It's a modded block. All right, let's go ahead and throw on our oil pan. All right, there we go. Tight. And there we go. Yeah, I've actually been kind of having an itch to play <laughs> Car Mechanic Simulator again. Um, but I don't own any of the mods, or not the mods. I don't own any of the DLC because I'm not a sucker. Just kidding. Uh, no, I just haven't bought them. All right, let's go ahead and put this on. We have, it looks like, one bad spark plug it's, it doesn't even look like it's bad but we have spark plugs on the inside so we can get that replaced so let's go ahead and get this tightened down oops uh let's take it back off 
I forgot the head gasket. Oh, I should definitely do that in my next tests and experiments videos. Add, uh, see how long an engine lasts without a head gasket. Uh, well, even, even just see if there's basic, um, see if there's basic, uh, wear and tear on the engine. Uh, if we leave off that, uh, Head gasket. Okay, uh, before we do that, I do have a spark plug thing here. So let's go ahead and pull out that bad one. I think it was this one. Indeed it was. Yeah, see, that's not really bad. Uh, I could have just left it in there. So I'm just going to save it for another car uh, when we don't have any. And this one has one spark plug inside, so this actually works out good. We will drop this and we will throw this away. Oops, I think I missed it. That's quite okay, though. And let's get this puppy in. There she blows. And tight. All right, fantastic. Okay, so let's go ahead and add on the cam now. I did buy a cam. Uh, I'm pretty sure I bought a freaking cam, right? Okay, let's see. Did I not buy it? Wait, hold on a second. Where'd I put all my stuff that I just bought? That's oh, right here with this radiator stuff, isn't it? Oh, maybe I didn't buy the cam. I thought I definitely bought that. Um, well, I was going to check the footage. Yeah, let me check the footage. And before I save it, I'm not going to save it actually, because if I lost it uh i want to be able to find it <laughs> okay 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 i definitely did buy it i just actually left it over at the shop on the floor because i am blind <laughs> so let me go let's go grab that real quick here uh oh, yeah jump over that wall thank you very much yep completely didn't see it i yeah i even watched myself look there it is hmm Hey, have you met Ray, the junk owner? I have no idea what his deal is. <laughs> I think he's constantly drunk on something. Uh huh. Yeah, this part, I don't know what's up with this part. Like the textures on it. Uh, maybe it was overlooked at some, or something at some point. Uh, but, Viking, if you are watching, is it Viking who uh, owns this game? Um, this part isn't isn't done so just to let you know okay let's get this thing on uh, and get our wrench beautiful yeah see looks like uh looks like doo-doo you know what i do want to look at the condition state on it actually oh this thing don't even have a condition state interesting okay anyway let's get it <laughs> let's get it tight there we go Beautiful. Now we should be able to add the uh, timing chain on. Yep, there she is. And nothing else is going to go inside of here. Right? Right. So let's go ahead and add on the, uh, the cover. Fantastic. Uh, let's get that tightened up real quick here. And then this side. Awesome. All right, let's go ahead and start adding the small parts on. We'll start with the distributor. I think it goes on the other side. Yeah. A uh, little bit more, a little bit more. All right, there's the distributor. Uh, we can go ahead and add on this alternator. Use, but still works. Um, maybe, yeah, right there it is. Okay, let's go ahead and get that added on. And then let's do the ignition coil here. There it is. Perfect. Okay. 
Uh, next up, we can do... Well, this engine don't actually have a lot of parts on it, apparently. Where's that water pump at? There it is over here. Let's get that water pump added on. It goes on this side as well. Yep, one and two should be it. All right. So next, let's see. Well, 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 I guess we could just go ahead and start adding on the uh, intake and exhaust and all that, I guess. I guess we could put this fan on. Yep, right on top of that water pump. Um, I don't know if the starter will go on this engine yet. Oh, it does. It's on this side, though. Oh, yeah, right there. Okay, let's get that tight. Fantastic. Let's go ahead and get the intake and exhaust on. Uh, I guess since we already have it rotated that way, we'll put the exhaust on first. There we go. And then we'll add the intake. Beautiful, beautiful. I'm excited to see how many horsepower this thing actually has. Um, especially with it being such a small engine. It's going to add that carb on. There we go. And we might as well start adding on the wires and stuff. Oh, we still have the, the fuel pump here. Beautiful, beautiful. Uh, yeah, let's go ahead. Go ahead and start putting on the air filter. There we go. And let's see how this air filter used, but as new. What does this one say? Used, but as new. They're both the same. Okay. So we'll add the filter itself on, and then we'll put the lid on. Uh, we need the oil filter on. That is going to be right there. Beautiful and fantastic. Uh, we might as well go ahead and add the belt on at this point. Nope, we are missing the uh, uh, crank uh, pulley. There it is. Oh, look. I never noticed that line before. That's, uh, I believe that is to set your timing, and I feel like I'm missing something there. I don't know what that could be, though. Right here? Maybe not. All right, let's go ahead and put the wires on here. Right, there we go. And what else can we add to this? I don't think anything else. That should be it. Uh, yeah. Oh, no, we could add, actually, uh, these parts on. Put that, and then the pressure plate. And let's go ahead and get that thing tight. There we go. And there's the last one. Beautiful, beautiful. Okay, yeah, I think this is it. Uh, I don't know why I feel like something goes there, but I'm, I don't think so, because the belt looks fine. Uh, so I think that's just the port. Oh, that's the hose. Oh, maybe the other hose goes to this spot uh, for the cooling. Yeah, that, that could be what the case is. Okay, well, cool beans. Let's see here. I think before we drop the engine in, I wonder if we should drop the engine in first and then add the, all the other stuff. Uh, probably actually let's just go ahead and do that so we'll go ahead and grab the engine here and let's get her thrown into the frame beautiful okay and i forgot that we are going to need 
Uh, we're going to have to get the front end before we could actually put the radiator on. So uh, we will definitely be doing that here shortly. Um, let's see. We could probably add the wires on, but we'll wait for that. Uh, let's go ahead and do the brake thing now. So we'll get the master, oops, damn it, the master cylinder on. Get it tight. Oh yeah, and maybe it was a different video. I thought it was for this one. Uh, There's three bolts for the steering wheel, he said. Maybe it was down here. No, I don't think so. Yeah, that might have been on a different video. Okay, so now we could probably... Yeah, we're not going to be able to throw the radiator on. We need that front piece. We could bring it over here, though. Yeah, it doesn't have anything to connect to. Uh, let's go ahead and just pick up our hoses. That's the lower. That's the upper. We're going to need the fuel line. Uh, we could take the battery. Uh, let's get the... Did I only buy two brake lines? I thought I bought all four. Well, hell, I might have to go back and look at that one again, too. And I don't think there's any clipping issues. Uh, this game does really... Oh, there, there they are. Okay. Well, there's three of the four. Uh, I'm still missing one. Uh, let's go ahead and drop this stuff off real quick, though, and then we'll go back over there and look for it. Yeah, so we got one, two, and three brake lines here. So I'm missing one somewhere. It's the fuel line. Uh, we can go ahead and bring this over as well. The gas tank, the diff. The wires. Uh, yeah, I might have to check my trailer. Um, I might have just missed it inside of there because it's so small. You know what I mean? Yeah, I think so. Okay. Okay, that looks like everything from these piles here. Uh, let's go ahead and actually do that real quick. Yep, there it is. I already see it on the floor over here. Awesome. Well, I'm glad that's uh, that happened. Uh, you know what? Let me just put these brake calipers in the garage real quick. I don't need them for anything right now, but... Okay, let's go ahead and start getting all this added on. Let's go ahead and start with the fuel line. There we go, get it tight. Yep, there she is. And then let's put together these uh, wipers real quick. So there's one wiper and there's the other, and then we just have to attach the blades themselves. And then we will attach these to the assembly unit here. Possibly. I might have to install it first. Uh, but if I just turn it around, I should be okay. Yep. Okay, there we go. I still had it the wrong way, but... And then let's attach this one. Okay, and then we'll get this whole motor stuck on here real quick. Oh, it goes up top. That's right. There we go. There we go. Uh, we might as well throw on the gas tank. Beautiful. Um, yeah, that's the only bolt, I believe. And then let's go ahead and row on I guess we could do the wire main at this point uh, so we'll get the frame bolt the alternator the starter and the engine uh, mount there okay um, we can go ahead and throw on the battery I suppose yeah and I don't think that has a battery clamp um, next up, I guess we might as well do the brake lines.
There it is. Tight. And where's that other one at? Oh, I can't actually see it. Why is this? Why is it? Why is it? Oh, I don't have the uh, break main on. That's why. Oh, I don't even know if I don't think I have a break main. Okay. Well, that's fine. Let's add that on before we do the rest of those. Yeah, I don't think I have one of those anywhere. Um, what is this one for? This is the wolf. Uh, the wolf uh, thingamabob. Okay, yeah, no main breaks. Okay, let's go grab one from the store so we can get that discount. And that should be the only thing I need from there. And I don't think there's one in here. Possibly, but I don't think so. No. Okay, yeah, let's get back. To the store, that is. Alright, jump. Yep, there we go. And that uh, break main shouldn't cost too much. Hopefully, like, 20 bucks. But we will see. Hey, bud. Hey, I got a joke for you if you want. Sure. So, my girlfriend asked 40. me to be a bit more in touch with my friend. Oh, I know. So, so I crashed the car, and then I ignored her all day for no reason. <laughs> yeah. There's always a reason, buddy. Don't forget that, okay? There's always a reason why they're mad, all right? All right, let's get this brake main on real fast here now that we have the uh, master on. There we go. Now we can go ahead and tighten this up. Beautiful. And then we could go ahead and finish the rest of the brakes around the car. Um, possibly if we can get our heads in there. There it is. Beautiful. Yeah, it does actually make it a lot easier to do a lot of the work on the car when you don't have the panels on. I will, I will say that. There we go. And there we go. Okay, so did we get, yeah, we got that, yeah. Oh, I dropped my wrench. Okay, so we got that. Um, where did the other brake line go? Oh, it's right here in my pocket. There we go. And let's get this puppy attached. We're almost set here. Tight. Oh, I could actually see it there. Beautiful, beautiful. All right, so now we need... Oh, I should have got the front end while I was over there. Okay, well, that's fine. Uh, let's go ahead and add the differential on. Uh, we still need to add the... Uh, we still need to add the damn uh, transmission on as well. Okay, there we go. It's just those five. So, yeah, let's grab the tranny, which is over here five and it looks brand new it is the i4 right yeah all right let's go ahead and slap her on here oops gosh dang it yeah i could have it jacked up i know and it probably would make things a bit easier for me uh but that's okay We can see most of them from here. Yep, and then we'll just tilt in and get the rest. There we go, and just a couple more on this side here. Beautiful, beautiful. Now we can add the drive shaft on. This one might be a little more difficult and needing to be jacked up, but oh, it doesn't look like it. Beautiful. Yep, I think we got all three. And that should be it for those. Indeed, indeed. And now we can attach it to the engine, which of course we cannot see. Uh, but I do believe if we crouch down here, we can see it. Yep, there they are. All right, beautiful. Uh, let's go ahead and sleep so we can get some brighter light outside. And so all we got left here is the radiator. Um, 
Indeed, just the radiator. Well, uh, the exhaust here, actually. Let's go ahead and put this exhaust on real quick. And there she is. One. Two. Beautiful. All right, so just the front end. Um, I'm going to see how much it is here so we can compare. I'm just kind of curious. Yeah, just this front panel here. So let's go ahead and grab that for the uh, 4715. Oh, okay. So this actually does need painted. So we can always repaint it if we get more votes for different colors. Uh, but let's just go ahead and paint it black for now. And I already have the paint, so that's kind of handy. There we go. And the lighting thing. Oops. Hold on. Now let's see if we can get ourselves in here. Okay, we got that one. And then let's do the same on this side. There we go. Uh, let's go ahead and get the front of this painted. Or possibly bottom and let's flip it over uh, okay so I didn't realize this part here is painted I wonder if that's where a lot of uh, the issues come when you're doing um, the paint work and you can't get it all okay let's go ahead and drop that and let's grab our welder real quick here do we have a stick in there we do not uh, we're gonna load it up before we head out So let's drop that. This one still has four in it. And there she is. Okay, let's stick it back on and let's take it over here and get this front end welded. Okay, and let's actually check the rust state again because I forgot that, yeah, see it has, oh, okay, see, see, okay. I don't know where that rust would be uh, because when we had it down just to the shell it had that rust uh, at a four star and there's no body panels on here um, damn it I should have oh, I'm kind of upset now that I put all this engine stuff in um, because I should have taken this all apart and seen what the hell was the rust you know what uh, we can kind of still do that I'm thinking it has to be one of these body parts, right? And if we look at them all, they're all pretty black, except for this uh, tubular thing and the firewall. Knowing my luck, the rust is probably on the firewall, but I was I, I didn't think rust actually showed up. Oh, it's not even a screwdriver. I didn't think rust actually showed up on these uh, panels. So let's take that off. Let's check it. And then let's take the pedals off. I don't think like the pedals in that can get rusted either. So, um, but let's take it off and see. No. Yeah. So damn it. Yep. I'm kind of upset now that I took off or that I put all the engine in first and didn't check it. Um, the firewall looks pretty black. Maybe it's this. Let's take off some of these parts and see if we can find this damn rust. Yeah, son of a gun. I wish I would have remembered to check that before I put all this stuff on. Damn it. Okay, well, before we continue on with the engine build, uh, that's pretty much it for the engine build. Um, so if you guys want to get out of here and don't want to finish watching the rest, thank you for showing up and, uh, we'll see you guys in the next. And those that continue, we're going to figure this freaking thing out. I swear to God, I'm a little bit sad. Yeah. Cause every single part was off and all we had was this little frame or this, not even the frame, the freaking shell or whatever you would call just the floorboards and such. And it still had the rust. Now maybe this part up here too. So we're getting our cutter out. And we are going to see, and we're going to find it, dang it. Uh, let's grab, um, 
Yeah, let's just grab this one here. Oops, and we dropped one. That's fine. Let's go ahead and take these out and do some cutting real quick. Okay, let's grab this cutter and let's start with just this back piece here. Uh, since that's one of the easiest pieces, right? Let's check it. Nope, so it's not this one. We're going to leave this off just for the time being until we figure it out. Um, and then let's take off this... Uh, I don't even know what you'd call this thing, but whatever that is. There we go. Now let's grab this one, this one. There we go. And then let's get the other side. I'm hoping this is what it is. Not some weird bug. Uh, these two here, we're going to run out, of course. And it does seem a little bit dented, so I'm kind of thinking uh, the problem is with this uh, tube. Uh, hopefully, yeah, now the car should still stay together. Let's see. Does it tell us the condition? It's called a tunnel. Tube, tunnel, whatever. Nope, that wasn't it either. Shite bullet, you ba bastard. Okay. Well, I guess we are going to have to take off the firewall. See how different color that is? Um, I don't know what's going to happen when I do this. Uh, okay, well, we're going to do it. So this one, this one. And I think these are the only two. Uh, well, these are attached to the bottom, so it should be fine. I should be able to pull this off. I might have to uh, unscrew a couple things here real quick from that firewall, like the steering wheel. Yep, we'll take this off. And the uh, master cylinder here. I'm not going to be able to take that off. i got to take off the bottom uh, wire first, or uh, hose Okay, let's get that off. And that should be everything on the firewall. Yeah, nothing else is attached. Okay, uh, let's go ahead and cut the rest of it off here. Um, Where was it on the other side? Oh, yep, they're over there, actually. I see them. Okay, so one, two. Uh, hold on, we didn't get them all, <clears throat> apparently. Oh, yeah, 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 down here. Oh, so it is all going to, I think it's all going to fall apart. Uh, maybe the axle and all that will keep it together. So we got this one and this one. Okay, there we go. Yeah, see how it's like, it's a completely different shade. Let's take a look now. So it's still, still four stars, damn it. Okay, let's see here. So it looks like the frame thing did fall ap fall apart from each other, but uh, it did not fix our rust issue. Yeah. Well, um, well, this part's not very black. Can't really tell on that other one. Let me sleep real quick. Let's see. Let's turn the light on. Does this seem more black and gray? No, they look the same. Uh, well, I guess I have no choice but to chop these off. Uh, so, let's, uh, yeah, let's look at it again. Okay, well, I guess we will chop off these floorboards real quick. I'm going to save it in case... Oh, wait, no, I already saved it. Never mind. Uh, I was going to say in case it all screws up. But let's go ahead and take this one off. Or not. Okay, let me get a new blade in here. There they are. Oh, I don't have any more in here. 
got that one on the table here, though. Yep, I'm a little upset. I wish I would have remembered. Damn it. Uh... <laughs> oh, well. Let's see. Why isn't this falling off, by the way? Oh, wait, what? Maybe... Oh, I'm actually not too sure. Well, let's chop this one. You know what? I'm going to look at the floorboards in the book real quick and see exactly what they look like. See if they have that lip on them or not. Uh, what are we on? The lad body. No, I don't think they have that lip. Uh, but I think they do have... Uh, yeah, there's an underside piece. Okay, let's cut this one off. Oh, the freaking thing's hooked to it. That's why. Okay. Let's get the wrench. There it is. Yep, there we go. Let's look at it. Four star. <laughs> okay. Hold on. This is kind of funny, actually. It's going to be all connected just by this. Uh... It's going to be connected just by this... Um. You know, you know, I don't try to say. Drive shaft. Now let's grab this one. Here and there. Yep, there we go. Let's check now. Four stars, bloody freaking hell. Look at this thing. It's pretty funny. Yeah, the two pieces are just connected by that drive shaft now. Um, well, hell, hell's bells, and a freaking basket of whatever. Okay. Uh, so it, the cross member was new, right? We bought the cross member. I don't think I didn't think any of these parts count as rust either. That's what kind of got me uh, a little baffled here. And these things look like they're all good. Uh, well, shoot, man. We bought the trunk for this, but look, this doesn't clip on right there. So maybe it's that piece. Well, I guess neither side does. So yeah, because we bought that trunk piece new. Uh, so I think that little space is standard. Okay. Well, I don't really have a choice. Uh, let's go ahead and start disconnecting. Let me find the wrench again. It's probably under one of these pieces here. Oh, it's on the other side. On on the piece. Okay. Well, I was thinking this one, so I might as well disconnect this side, right? So let's go ahead and take this off. Um, I guess unscrew these. Oh, look, it came off. I don't have to unscrew anything else. Okay. Yeah, okay, let's see. So not on that one. Let's tighten these back up. I think it was the frame pieces here, yeah. <laughs> okay, that doesn't work. Uh, because the piece is missing. Okay, so let's move that to the side. Let's look at it. Still has some rust. Uh, let's go ahead and pull this side off and do the exact same thing. I don't think these are all part of that. I think these are all connected to the cross member. I think it was because I loosened these. Yeah, okay. I'm I'm a smarty. Okay. Uh let's see. Four star. <laughs> okay, okay, okay. Oh, okay. Okay. I'm gonna cry. Uh well, I guess I don't have a choice but to remove these back pieces, so let's get our grinder out here. Let's see here. Okay, so we got one here. Uh, one there. And one here in the back. And that should be it. Minus the, uh, the bolt up there. Uh, let's go ahead and... Let's go ahead and uh, loosen her up. Okay, 
Apparently there is more to it than just that. Uh, maybe this here. Let's take a look. Oh, okay. I know what it is. Let's take that back up. <clears throat> That's going to be this piece here. Okay. This should come off. Oh, I might have to remove the spring as well. Or maybe this cross member. I don't know what that's connected to. Uh, maybe this... Yeah, let's loosen the shock back up. And remove the shock, actually. Okay, now... Yep, okay. Okay, the spring's still connected. That's fine. Uh, oh, wow. Check that out. Oh, never mind. It just looks well, who knows what's going on here. Uh let's see now. Still four. Let's go ahead and just remove this side over here. Oh my gosh. Okay. Uh we'll start with the shock. There we go. And we didn't even cut it yet. Hold on. Let's give it a cut. We got the back one, this one, and there should be one more on the inside there. There we go. Okay, Cole, that one actually, I didn't have to take off as much. Uh, let's check now. Four stars. Uh, do you think this is actually bugged? You know what I mean? Or do you think it has something to do with these parts over here? I mean, they're not attached, so they shouldn't be counting. Um, if you catch what I'm saying. Now, let's just tighten that back up and see how much of this we can put back on. Interesting. That's weird. I wonder why this side is sagging more. You know what I mean? Uh, let's get our grinder out. Let's remove the damn gas tank. Still four star. Or, yeah, four star. Um. So we got a shot. Oh, this thing maybe? No, I don't think, uh. Yeah, I think these have to connect to those floorboards and then we got this one and this one on this side well i guess i don't know if these are connected to oh i see where they're connected right back here okay so let's remove these uh are those like let's see uh, we need to get another, we need to get another thing. Okay, let's take a look here. We got a mess again. Okay, let's see here. Is this connected any which way? No, I think I should just be able to pull that off. Uh, so it must still be connected by some some pieces here. Hold on, let's grab the wrench again. Oh my god, I'm getting overwhelmed. Okay, uh, let's see here. What's going on in here? Why is this thing not... It's so weird. Oh. Okay, let's look at it again. Okay, now I think, now I think that's just connected to the axle. Uh, yeah, let's just take this off real quick. 
Okay, there we go. Now let's see. Is it still going to give me that rust friggin' problem? It does. So these should all be new parts, I think. Will you stand up? Okay, yeah, this connects to that thing. Can these go back on? No, they all connect to that thing. Okay, okay. So, something here is holding the rust, right? I'm going to have to go back to the chassis build and look. I'm pretty sure we bought that cross member, though. Oh, wow, look at that. Uh, Look at that, wow. Why'd this one fall apart so much compared to the other one? And how's this how's this spring still in? Oh. Let's get the spring compressor real quick. <laughs> there we go, look at that. Oh my god. Well, regardless, that is a thing of beauty right here. I did not know you could have a car without any uh, any pieces on it. I don't know what to make of that. I don't know what to make of that. Well, I guess the only thing we can do is when it's back together... I don't know, actually, what we can do. Um, yeah, I'm pretty sure that cross member was new. Cause, or was it? I don't know. I'm gonna have to. I'm gonna look and see if that cross member was new. Give me one second. Yeah, I just uh, watched my or watched yeah my last video and I definitely uh, got a new cross member. So I'm not kind. Everything on here is brand new, basically. And I don't think rims hold rust. And plus, that's right, when it was just this bottom, when it was just this freaking uh, floorboards, uh, the rust was showing up. Okay, well, hell. Okay, you know, I'm not putting all this back together. I am going to just reload it. I know, I know. How dare, how dare I? Uh, let's quit and uh, come back in. Yeah, okay, so I don't have a lot to put back together. Um, I'm not sure how long we've been going now. Uh, but we still have to put that front end on in that radiator. So let's go ahead and get this thing back together. There we go. I don't know how we're going to actually get this connected again. Oh, great. And this is my uh, this is my recent, most recent load. Yeah, hmm, interesting. And I think I walked too far. Walk this way. Okay, let's get these on. I might have to remove it and then uh, reattach it or something. I'm not too sure, actually. Okay, there we go. But we did learn uh, from taking that apart that all we need to remove is uh, these two bottom pieces. Oh, wait, did it go back up? Oh, look. Oh, no, it didn't. I thought it came back up. Well, hopefully this will work. We'll see. Uh, let's go ahead and loosen. Loosen. Oops, gosh, dang it. That's not what I wanted to do at all. There we go. Okay, let's get our, our welder ready, and let's see if we can get this connected back on. Oh, great. Oh, great, I screwed it all up. What am I going to do? I don't know. Maybe I do need to have this loose up here. I don't think so. Great. Okay. Uh, maybe, oh, the firewall, duh. Uh, let's get the firewall back on, and then that should actually go back on. Okay. There we go. Uh, firewall, and let's get our uh, welder tool here. Get it all tacked on. I need some more. Uh, 
uh, electrodes. Okay, let's see. Uh, don't lose it. There we go. Those things are so hard to see. And I lost it, of course. Oh, there it is. Okay, yeah, let's get this back on. And then the one on the other side here. Uh, two, rather. And then this should pop on now. Oh, yeah, there it is. Okay, let's tack that on. Uh, need a new electrode. I know, the MIG welder. Uh, but, you know, I'm a cheap uh, bastard. And I don't like to waste money. And I feel like the MIG welder is a bit of a waste of money. Uh, because it's not like it's that hard to reload this thing. Look, that did not take me that long. Okay. Um, well, that's interesting. This piece doesn't even weld back on. Uh, we might have to remove it and then put it back on. Uh, so let's tighten it back up first. And then let's loosen this side. Oh, I never uh, loosened up this. Or took the battery out. Or took the wiring harness off. What the hell? Oh, what? Hold on, let's get our cutter tool. Did this thing like magically weld it? So, oh, did I welded it, didn't I? Um, such a smarty. Okay, okay. Let me get this stuff back on. Holy crap, I'm an idiot. Okay. <laughs> I forgot I did that whole freaking thing all the way around. All right, let's get that back tight. All right, that one this one the frame is there the uh starter alternator that's all done let's put the battery on and then we'll weld this front on and get the uh radiator on and we will be all set wasted a little bit of time there uh i don't know i guess i'll just leave it in all right um uh, <laughs> let's go ahead and tack this thing on we got one here one here uh right there and right there. Okay, that should be all of it. Indeed, indeed. Now let's grab our wrench, and this radiator should go in now. It does. Uh, let's just get it tight. And then let's hit a uh, hick. Let's stick these hoses on. Yep, and right here. she is okay okay well that is it uh well i guess i should probably put this stuff back in let's get this back in real quick possibly oh it's all on the inside i forgot uh let's hook up the brakes did you see that there's actually a tiny bit of brake fluid still in there which will make sense because i don't think i put any brake fluid in okay uh, let's get that tight. There we go. Oops, come on. Okay, there we go. Okay, uh, I forgot to put... Let's uh, walk this way. Yeah, there we go. And then let's stick this back on. Oh, why? No, 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 don't tell me. Don't tell me. Why? Well, that's not good. I, that... I have to get that on. Well, hell. Hell's bells. Uh, What if we hold it in hand? Oh, great. Did I break it? Well, I think I broke it. Uh, This piece is good, right? Well, even if it was bad, it should still show a check mark. Uh, though it does kind of look a little... It does kind of look a little warped out here. 
Yeah, it's pretty straight. Hmm. Well, shoot, shoot, shoot. Well, I don't know what to do about that. Um. Yeah, I don't know what to do about that one. Okay, well, anyway, let's look at it. Oh, look, the rust is fixed now. It's at five stars. What the? Oh, wait, that doesn't make any sense. Maybe, was it this piece, maybe? I don't think so. Uh, you know what? We're going to save real quick, and we are going to see if we buy a new one of those if it goes on. Uh, if it doesn't, we'll just reload it. Okay, we got the lad. We're going to bod, and we are going to get that big old middle piece and see if this... Nope, it still looks all kind of bent. Let's see. Yeah, okay, so that wasn't the case. Okay, let's reload. Okay, uh, let's look at it again. Make sure I didn't screw it up. Okay, yeah, look, we got the five stars now. So apparently I did something there that um, reset it and re-triggered it or something, or, or it heard me complaining. I'm not too sure. Uh, anyway, yeah, I think that'll probably cover it. Uh, we're going to have to do quite a bit of work to get this thing back on, unfortunately, because it should just attach straight to this. If we look at our cutter... Uh, all those pieces, we haven't uh, taken any of them off. Yeah, see, all the cuts are still there. Um, so I'm a little bit baffled why that won't clip onto here. It usually does. Uh, maybe if we take off some of those panels or something. But, yeah, anyway, I think that's going to be it. Uh, we got everything we could get on uh, for the inside the engine bay. All that's bad. Yep, 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 yep. And yeah, we got everything that's going to go in the engine bay. Next up is going to be the actual body itself. And uh, before we do that, though, we will stick a seat in here. And we're going to drive this puppy around just like this. Uh, <laughs> so uh, look forward to that. And yeah, I don't know. That's kind of uh, that's kind of upsetting. But yeah, all right. Well, anyway, guys, thanks for watching. Hope you enjoyed and uh stick around i'm gonna start adding something to the end here uh just little crashes um so anyway have fun we'll see you guys and see you later